everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. And I think today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally going to get the 12 minute or or less mark. You guys know that on Action Figure Appointment, let me get the, you gotta blend in the, the optical illusion here. Make it look like an actual office. Close enough, you don't see this little corner down here. How about this? Suck on that. Ah, ish, there's another one down here. So today, guys, we have a few fix-ups that should be relatively easy. Now, one of them's not going to be completely done. I'll get into that and everything like that. But today, I wanted to do a couple fix-ups. You guys know that we did do this fix-up of Becky Lynch on Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. What I want to do today is simply just head swap this Becky Lynch, the Ultimate Edition, with this basic over here. I think the ponytail head sculpt will look a lot better than the hair down. Kind of want to make them interchangeable, so I'll probably do that at one point. I want to make them interchangeable because I, I like it. These heads right here, these heads right here. The figures, the head sculpts that you see right here in front of your freaking face. These figures right here, this should have been the head sculpts that came with the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch. And I'll, I'll, I'll die on that hill. I'll die on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to interchange these. One thing you guys probably remember about this figure is it had the loosey-goosey leg. I did fix it a little bit. I tried the Mod Podge method. It hasn't worked completely. I'm going to have to do a few more coats and stuff. But, you know, it is definitely better than it was. You guys remember it was I mean, it's still pretty shitty. Yeah, just ignore that. We'll get into that in a few. But that is not all we're going to do today, guys. We are also going to be fixing up this Kurt Angle right here. We have the Team Angle one over here, and we have the Custom from BEW. Today, I'm going to be putting these boots and these Cesaro lower legs over here because I'm sick of looking at this. This Kurt Angle is too short. He looks frumpy. He looks stupid. Going to take these arms off, put these arms on, the, the arms off this Kurt Angle, put them over here on this Elite Kurt Angle. Then we're going to switch out the lower legs from this Cesaro over here and also put on these boots. Kurt Angle has the best boots in the game. If you didn't know, he has some of the best boots. Okay, my, my brother Brad wants me to do a best boots video because I'm a sneaker head. I've always loved sneakers and basketball shoes and collecting shoes. And I'm the same way about wrestling boots. Like when people have fire attires and fire and fire boots in the ring and things of that nature, I love it. And so he told me to do a video like that. And I'll tell you right now, Kurt Angle will be near the top of the list. The boots that he has worn since I was a kid back in 2001, 2000 era, these kind of boots that BEW custom painted, I think these would look sick on this Team Angle attire. And so we're going to do that. Um, I love this custom by BEW, but I do not want to keep it like it is right now. I'm going to fix it up a little bit and uh, see what we can get going with it. So the Cesaro calves, I think, are the right size and everything. And I think they're the right skin tone, so it should go on there very seamlessly. And these boots, it should look nice as well. And then the final fix-up that we're going to do, guys, is going to be this Jeff Hardy. And the only thing we're going to be doing, you could probably already see, is yes, I am going to put the entrance grades head sculpt over here. And at first, you're probably going to be like, well, Brad, that doesn't look that good and you know what you'd be correct Brad I know it doesn't look that great but what we're gonna do after the fact not today I'll probably do it separately because it's probably gonna take me a little bit is I'm going to paint all of the white on this figure I don't know about the belt you guys can let me know what I should do with the belt but I want to take this moot green and I want to paint over all the white on these sleeves in that green color don't you think that'd be super badass you'd have this like lightning paint splatter like lime green with blue and black and that would tie in nice to the the face paint with the blue and the black and the purple tones that we got going on on the face paint. So I think that would be a really fire fix up. I may actually paint the shoes as well. I'm not sure what I want to do about the kicks or the belt just yet, but I think putting this head sculpt on here and then painting these sleeves is going to be super sick. So I, I think that's going to work out. We won't know till the end, but we'll go ahead and do all these fix ups, guys. Let's try to make it in under the time limit. I'm trying to make it. I don't think we've ever made it 12 or less minutes. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that by getting started on this action figure appointment. All right, guys, so starting out first, I really honestly feel that the head sculpt shouldn't be that difficult. The only thing I'm afraid of is snapping the Jeff Hardy neck peg, and that's the only thing I'm really worried about with these figures that we're working on here today. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to remove the vest jacket of the Becky because you guys know just like Roman Reigns, just like all those figures, we, oh my God, I should have known about that. Pop the arms out. You don't have to do that. Just pop the arms out of the Becky, set those over there, and then take this off, and it should be relatively easy to get that heated up. So we're going to 
gonna put that right there in the line of fire. Put that there. I love that Elite 72 head sculpt, by the way. That's why I want to make them interchangeable. But we're gonna get that out of the way. And then also, I mean, ah, dropping ish. I don't know. I guess what we can do is just go ahead and pop the boots off of this Kurt Angle, because I feel like that would work. Now, see, I would just use these, but these are too dark. These are a little bit thicker, and they I think they're gonna fit the Kurt Angle body a little bit better. So what we'll do is just go ahead and heat this up as well. And hopefully we don't, you know, we don't run into any issues there. Should be relatively simple. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if we can, we might be able to heat up the lower legs as well. I ha okay, now we're getting kind of crazy. I forgot about this Becky Lynch head sculpt as well, so, uh, man, we're getting real rough now. We're getting kind of, we're kind of getting, we're getting a little bit crazy. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just save that to the end, but let's go ahead and see if we can do these others. Let's go ahead and hit it. Gotta get the white trusty hair dryer in the face, and, uh, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to be real with you. Don't think that the Jeff Hardy head sculpt is going to be ready to go. I just don't see it. Now, if it happens, that would be absolutely fantastic. This Becky Lynch torso is on fire. Oh, my goodness. But we got it off. Okay, I'm going to pop this over here, and then we will look at Becky at the end. Remember, thumb on the chin right there. Go ahead and pop this on. I don't want that damn ponytail to fall off, but the back of the figure is absolutely on fire. Okay, we got the Becky head on there. That will be looked at in a moment. The Kurt boots, maybe we can pop these off. Off real quick just like so no paint chip or anything so that's excellent that's the good paint work of BEW right there a Becky Lynch over there this over here okay this head sculpt yeah this head sculpt sucks any long-haired head sculpt man ah. Got it, piece of ish. All right, popping this on here. We'll take a look at this at the end. Got that on there. What's sick about this, Jeff Hardy, is it actually has the neck tattoos too. Oh yeah, I'm liking the way that freaking looks. All right, now what we're gonna do is we have to heat up the Cesaro lower legs and the Kurt Angle lower legs. And I just dropped something on the floor. It was the green paint. Thank God it didn't spill. Would have upset me. All right. Now, the next plan is to get this here. I'm sweating like a hobo. We're going to get this here. We're going to plant that right there. Get this here. Slide the knee pads up. Plant that right there. And we're going to try to get a clean swap here. And hopefully these boots. I'm going to put the boots in the background, like right here. Maybe it can catch a little bit of heat. Not like a ton of heat. Not like X-Pac heat, but maybe some, some Lars Sullivan heat backstage. And we, can, and we can just heat this up. And then we can switch it without any issues. All right, guys, so then uh, the question is going to be, can we actually get this switched without, first of all, burning our face off, and secondly, without it getting, like, hard, 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 why the hell are you saying it's so weird? Can we get it on there without it, like, hardening up and then, you know, not working for us? So we're going to have to find out about both of those things right now, and I'm trying to get this on here first, see if we can, okay, don't come off, knee pad, don't be an a-hole. Ah, Christ, the knee pad getting in my way. Oh my God. All right, we got that, but this is being a, mm, mm, I had a cuss. All right, pulling that peg out, slide the knee pad up. The knee pads are giving me fitsies. Didn't think they'd be doing that to me today, but they, they are, so. All right, very, very close on these pegs. That one closer than that one, but let's go ahead and plop these in here just so that part is done. And then what I'll do is, is, <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys at the end. I'll get these pegs pushed in here, and we'll see you guys at the end of the thing. Psych, I also forgot about the arms. Christ. All right, I'll switch the arms. I'll switch the arms, and, and then, uh, yeah, we'll switch the arms. We'll get the boots plugged in there, the lower legs, calves, things, and I'll see you guys at the end to take a look at everything. All right, guys, here's everything we did here today on appointment. As you guys can see, I think it was a pretty successful day. Again, not a lot of crazy stuff going on, but I think everything turned out great. Again, the Jeff Hardy will not be finished until a later date. We are going to work on that. Probably today, actually. I'm probably about to just start on that to see what that looks like. But the Kurt Angle looks sick. I love these boots. They're, they'll always probably be my favorite boots. If you guys want a couple off the top of my head, I think that Kurt Angle has some of the best boots. Dolph Ziggler has some of the best boots. And Bret Hart has some of the best boots. Just some of those that come to my head. Let me know down below who's some boots that you like to see. Batista always rocks some fire boots, but this Kurt Angle with my favorite boot design ever. He looks absolutely fantastic. These knee pads don't go with this attire, and I 
I don't believe he ever wore the team angle attire with these boots. I could be wrong about that. It could have happened, but I still like the fix up regardless. It's just so clean. It looks really, really nice. Um, they, it still looks great. I like these better arms too. The other arms with like the newer rotating elbow are not what I like. I like these much better. So this is very nice to see. Love the way that looks. And BEW's paint did hold up great on those. So, you know, no chipping or anything like that. I'm really waiting for Mattel to make these boots. We never got a Kurt Angle with them painting the boots like this. So that sucks. I, I've always wanted them to make boots like this from Mattel. You know, official with no paint required, but they never have. Jeff Hardy again looks great. Again, we have this blue on the sleeves tying into the blue on the head there. The green over the white is really going to tie this thing together. And let me know down below what I should do about the belt and the shoes. Probably a lime green belt would be cool, but I still want to run it by you guys. See what you guys think. And then the Becky Lynch is sick. I think the ponytail head sculpt with this body and the Ultimate Edition with the leg swap that we did on Action Figure Surgery 50 looks brilliant. I think it turned out great. It turned out exactly like I thought it would, and I'm very happy for that. I still got to make that head sculpt interchangeable at one day, and I still need to do the same thing with this head sculpt. So these head sculpts would have looked a lot better with the Ultimate Edition. Let me know if you guys agree, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.